Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving root? We have square root of 2. Inside that, we have square root of 2x plus 1, and also square root of 2x plus 1 equals to 4. So, from here, let's represent 2x plus 1 with a letter and say let y be equals to 2x plus 1. Then we can rewrite this and this will become square root of 2 then root square root of y also inside that we have square root of y which is now equals to 4 then from here we can square both side of this you know equation we square this side and also we square this side so the square we cancel the square root here and what we have left here will be 2 root y then root y again which is equals to here let's still leave it as 4 square then next let's square both sides again then we square this side also we square this side then the square here on this side we affect these two numbers we affect two and we affect this root so we have two square now then multiply by root y then root y square equals to here yeah, this power multiplies and this gives us four raised to power four then next step this cancel this has cancel each other and what we have left here is 2, let's delete this as 2 squared times y times root y left here equals to, we still have 4 raised to power 4 here then in the next step, we can square both sides again then we square this side this square we affect 2 squared, so we have 2 squared square then times to affect y as well y square then times root y square and this is equals to this power multiply 4 raised to power 8 from there 2 times 4 that's 8 then here this power multiplies as well we have 2 raised to power 4 then times y square then square cancel square root then times y equals to 4 raised to power 8 from here then next step and uh, we have this is y raised to power 1 so when we apply the law of indices here this will be 2 raised to power 4 now multiply by this has become y raised to power 3 that will be 2 plus 1, that's 3, which is equals to here. Let's change this to raise 2, and that's 2 raised to power 2, that's 4, then raised to power 8. And the next step, we can divide both sides by 2 raised to power 4, so as to remove this on this side. 2 raised to power 4, then divide by 2 raised to power 4, then this cancel out, and we have y raised to power 3, now equals to 2 raised to power 16 over 2 raised to power 4 and from the law of indices since this same base divide we can subtract the power and we have y raised to power 3 equals to 2 raised to power 16 minus 4 and from here this is y raised to power 3 now equals to 2 raised to power 12 and from here we can separate this 12 as 4 times 3 and this will be y raised to power 3 equals to 2 raised to power 4 then raised to power 3 then 2 raised to power 4 to multiply itself 4 times and that's 16 so we have y raised to power 3 now equals to 16 raised to power 3 then from here Let's take 16 raised to power 3 to this side and this will become y raised to power 3 
minus 16 raised to power 3 equals to 0. And this follows from difference of two cube. When we have a cube minus b cube, we write this as a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b then plus b square. And from here, this will give us y minus 16 then into bracket y square plus 16y then plus 16 square. This is now equals to 0. Then when we simplify from here, we have this 16 square as 16 times 16 that's 256. So we have y minus 16 into bracket y square plus 16y plus 256 now equals to 0. So what we have here, we have two possible cases. We have y minus 16 equals to 0 or we have y squared plus 16y plus 256 equals to 0. Then on this side, we have y to be equals to 16 y on this side we solve using the quadratic formula but here first let's finish this side we can recall that we represented y as 2x plus 1 from the beginning and uh, therefore we can say 2x plus 1 now is equal to 16 and when we take 1 to this side this will give us 16 minus 1 which is 15 so we have 2x equals to 15 and when we divide both sides by 2 from here we have x equals to 15 over 2 which is a real solution on this side so x equals to 15 over 2 here then from this side let's solve this quadratic equation to get y so using the quadratic formula, y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And in this case, a equals to 1, b equals to 16, and c equals to 256. So when we substitute here, from this we have y equals to minus 16 plus or minus square root of 16 square then minus 4 times 1 times 256 then over 2 times 1 and from here this same thing as y equals to minus 16 plus or minus square root of 16 square that's 256 minus 4 times 256 we have 1024 then over 2 and this is same thing as y equals to minus 16 plus or minus square root of when we subtract we have minus 768 from here then over 2 and minus 768 square root of minus 768 we can write that as square root of 256 times 3 then times minus 1 and square root of 256 that's 16 then we have root 3 then root minus 1 is i so this will give us 16 root 3 high so we have y now equals to minus 16 plus or minus 16 root 3 i then over 2 and these two will go in 16 and this 16 as well so we have y equals to minus 8 plus or minus 8 root 3 i then for here also we recall that we represented y as 2x plus 1 so 2x plus 1 now equals to minus 8 plus or minus 8 root 3 high and from there when we take 1 here become minus 
So minus 1 minus 8 will be minus 9. So we have 2x equals to minus 9 plus or minus 8 in 3i. Then since we are after finding x, we can divide both sides by 2. And from here, x will then be equals to minus 9 plus or minus 8 in 3 hard then over 2. So here we have two complex solutions from here. Then if this is the first solution which is x1 equals to 15 over 2 which is a real solution then x2 from here will be minus 9 plus 8 root 3 r which is a, co a complex solution from there. Then x3 is now equals to minus 9 minus 8 root 3 r sorry please this is over 2 root 3 r then over 2 so we have these three solutions for this problem we have one re and two complex thank you for watching please subscribe for more exciting videos share this video and give it some sort and if you have a comment Put it in the comment section. Thank you. See you next time. Bye for now.